You've probably come across someone's stream where they've got those AI text-to-speech voices that read out subs and donations with like a random celebrity voice. This stream sucks. I'm gonna play Mario Kart with Biden and the boys. Well today, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own one, but using your own voice. Hey, please ban me. What super rad unethical stream tips do you have to really hook those viewers into giving you all their money willingly? All this is possible with something called Tangia, and it's super easy. The whole process takes like less than 10 minutes. And Tangia doesn't just read out alerts. You can create an entire AI persona that your viewers can ask questions to, and it will reply with your own voice, your own interests, likes and dislikes, and speech patterns. It's a really cool platform, and I'm not just saying that because they're sponsoring this video. I was gonna make this video anyway, but they don't know that. Sorry, Alex, you signed the contract already. But let's just start with cloning your own voice because that's why you clicked in this video. So head to tangia.co, I'll leave that link down below. You can sign in with your Twitch or YouTube account and I believe it supports Kick as well, but Kick is cringe, so we're gonna skip that. By the way, yes, Tangia is free, but of course this is a sponsored video, so obviously there will be paid features, which we'll get into later. TLDR, there's a 20,000 character limit per month, but there are paid and free ways to increase the limit. So please don't click off the video. I'm not done speaking. It's gonna ask you to drop a browser source into OBS, which is basically an overlay like the ones that you'd make in Streamlabs or Stream Elements. And then when you get into your dashboard, click on Tits Studio. And then there will be a script that you have to read. And all you have to do is record yourself reading the script into an MP3 file. I just used Audacity for this. It's a pretty long script. It should take you around five to seven minutes. And feel free to use any voice that you want. It doesn't have to be your normal speaking voice. Illuminated manuscripts of the Middle Ages. Whatever voice that you use, just make sure that you're speaking as clearly as possible for the best results. I am illiterate, so there's no fucking way I was gonna read all of this in one go. I can't even read the first word. What the hell is ambling? So I just hit the record button for each paragraph one at a time, and then I stitched all of those files together in DaVinci Resolve after, and then exported that as a single MP3 file. Apparently you don't need to read the whole thing, which would have been nice to know when I started. Because doing this voice the whole time really puts a strain on my throat. Make sure the MP3 file is under 10 megabytes. And once you're done, just throw that into Tangia. It'll take about a minute to generate your voice. And you should be able to immediately test it out after. This is me speaking, or maybe I just sound like it. I'm convinced this is not an AI speaking, but I may be biased. I'm going to be honest. The voice doesn't sound exactly like me. It sounds like me if I was an IGN reviewer. Uh, reviewing Baldur's Gate 3 is like trying to memorize the entire Twitch emote library. A monumental task. The Marge impression though, that one was perfect. They nailed it. This is me speaking, or maybe I just sound like it. I'm convinced this is not an AI speaking. I'm gonna talk to the guys at Tangia. We're gonna try and get my voice as well as the Marge impression for everybody to use. So even if you don't wanna record your own voice, you can just use my voice or the Marge voice and have her read out your donations. We'll try to get that set up by the time this video goes live. So just check the description and there'll be some instructions for where to go to add that voice to your stream. Every time you create a new TTS model, Tangia automatically adds three interactions to your stream, which are basically ways for your viewers to trigger your TTS voice. If you come over to the interactions tab, you'll see a huge list of things that your viewers can redeem. Personally, I don't like how they add like 100,000 different interactions that you never asked for. So kind of wish that these were off by default. But at the top of the list, you'll see the three interactions for your voice. So there's the standard text-to-speech. There's one that sounds like you're getting a phone call from yourself. And there's one that sounds like your viewers are listening to your inner thoughts. I really hope chat doesn't realize Aniv is secretly my cringe alt account. But how do your viewers redeem these interactions? Well, they have two options. They could use Twitch bits or channel points. If you want to use bits, you'll have to use the Twitch extension, which will add an overlay over your stream. And then your viewers can just use their mouse to hover over your stream, click on the interaction that they want, and then spend bits to redeem the text-to-speech options. You can set the price of each interaction to whatever you want. There is an 80-20 split, which is the same for every other Twitch extension. So for every 100 bits that your viewers spend, you'll keep 80 cents, and then 20 cents will go back to the developer. Alternatively, 
if you want to give your viewers a free way to redeem these interactions, then you can use Twitch channel points. Next to each interaction is a channel point icon. You just click on it and it automatically adds that interaction to your list of channel point rewards. And then something I like to do is after adding the channel point, I go into my dashboard and then add a cooldown per user. And that gives my viewers a way to redeem the text-to-speech for free, say, three times a stream. And then if they want to do more than that, then they gotta pay up. You know? It's so money, baby. If you're using YouTube or any other platform that isn't Twitch, they have their own payment system called Tangia Tokens. You just link your viewers to your personal Tangia page and then they can redeem interactions here. There's still an 80-20 split, but it actually ends up cheaper for your viewers because they don't have to buy Twitch bits first. They can just buy tokens directly. Also, for each interaction, you can adjust how the TTS voice sounds, change the pitch, change the speed, change the tonal variance, which is kind of like how excited the voice sounds. And when I was playing around with my Marge voice, they added a style exaggeration slider, which ended up working really well with that voice in particular. So they've opened up that slider for everyone to use. So play around with that as well. This is me speaking, or maybe I just sound like it. I'm convinced this is not an AI speaking, but I may be biased. This is me speaking, or maybe I just sound like it. I'm convinced this is not an AI speaking, but I may be biased. Now, on top of standard TTS messages, you can also create an entire AI persona and then have your viewers ask questions to that persona. There's a little form you can fill out with things like, what do you like? What do you hate? What is your personality like? So naturally, I put in things that I like, Super Metroid, mechanical keyboards, K-pop. <laughs> Thanasis Untentacumpo. And then I put in things I don't like, like Streamlabs. You can even tell Tangia how to answer questions. So I told it to refer to everyone as king or queen, and then also reply to every question with the words cringe or based. You'll also notice that there's a text box that appears with every message, and you can customize that overlay as well. I didn't really like the orange border that it had by default, so I just made mine transparent. And you can position that caption box wherever you want on your screen. They also have a thing called spot interactions. So that interactions tab has a bunch of simpler meme videos that your audience can trigger. And the spot interactions box just specifies where those meme videos pop up on your screen. Now Tangia also has an alert system and it's pretty robust. It's much better than the stream elements and Streamlabs alert systems. You can set up these things called alert flows. So for example, if I wanna make an alert that reads every time I get a new sub, I just add a new alert alert flow, click new sub, add an action, and then select TTS. And then I can customize the message that gets read out using variables like their username and the sub tier. I can also set up conditionals like say, only trigger TTS if the sub is a tier three sub. One thing I would suggest to Tangia is to add more triggers, include a trigger for ads so we could have a TTS alert every time an ad starts running. How do I pin stuff on Twitch? Hey, can I not? Is ready. Why don't you grab something to eat while ads are running? Or add a trigger for polls. So whenever you create a poll in Twitch chat, it reads out that question so everyone can hear it. It does have triggers for hype trains, which I don't think Streamlabs or Stream Elements have. Uh, so that's nice to see, but I'd like to see way more triggers if that's possible. And I know it is, so you shouldn't have to do it because I'm a YouTuber and I said so. Okay, so now let's talk about the sponsory stuff. Tangia has a very interesting pricing structure. It's a bit confusing, but stick with me. By default, everybody gets a 20,000 character limit per month and you can only use one text-to-speech model, but you can expand that character limit, get more TTS models, and just get more features through a number of ways, both paid and for free. The easiest way is to just straight up give them money. If you pay $10 a month, they'll bump you up to 60,000 characters and you'll be able to upload four TTS models, which sounds like a lot of money, but if you think about it, if you just charge $1 for one text to speech interaction, you just need 10 viewers to trigger them per month and then you break even. Alternatively, you can unlock more characters through their leveling system. So for every bit that your viewers spend, you get one Tangia token or 
rep. And the more rep that you accumulate, the more you progress through their leveling system, which unlocks more characters and more features. For example, at level three, you get 2000 more characters and an extra TTS model, and also the ability to add subscriber discounts. At level five, you get a third TTS model and even more characters. You get the point. They've gamified the whole thing. So you can get more characters without having to spend a single cent. And the reason why Tangia is able to do this is because they're taking a 20% split on all the bits earned through their Twitch extension. So you'll definitely want to push your viewers to use the Twitch extension over channel points or bits triggers because not only do you make money that way, but it progresses you further along their leveling system. I should probably mention any redeems made through paid options, whether it's your personal Tangia page or the Twitch extension, they don't count towards your character allocation per month. So that's another reason why you probably want to direct people to use bits instead of channel points. They also have challenges and leaderboards to get even more Tangia rep, and they have a separate Twitch extension to keep track of your progress there. And there's a ton more features too. They have media sharing, so your viewers can send YouTube videos and TikToks and then have them automatically play in your stream if they spend bits. They also have probably the simplest subathon timer that I've ever seen in my life, and that even works with their extension too. And they have these things called Tangia parties, which are like these mini sub goals or hype trains, which trigger these party animations. And that contributes to that leveling system as well. Oh, and I forgot it even connects to your Discord server. So whenever your viewers generate a text-to-speech message, it can upload that audio file to your Discord server so that you can look at them later. And cake, 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 cake. It's a piece of cake, 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 cake. There's a lot more that I don't have time to cover. Otherwise Otherwise, this video will be like 30 minutes long and then no one will want to click on the video. But give Tangia a try and if you set it up for your stream, send me a clip. I would love to see how close it's able to match your voices. And if you guys have any questions, whether it's to do with Tangia or just streaming in general, feel free to come by on my Twitch stream. I stream three times a week and I'm always answering people's questions or complaining about why my stream doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, thanks. See ya.